I've been filming just outside the velodrome all morning with uh, Danny McCaskill. Hundreds of millions of people have seen him all around the world. He's been outside mm -hmm. using things that you wouldn't even have thought you could ride a bike on. You know, he's been hopping from the, the kind of bollards to bollard. He's been off walls, up and down, um, handrails and steps, all sorts of stuff. And it's just amazing to watch. You know, incredible to watch. I've always been keen on on trying to do tricks. I've been very lucky with the videos on, on YouTube that have kind of gone off around the world and even luckier to be doing you know, projects like this. It's been really awesome riding you know, the sort of new obstacles around here outside the Commonwealth Arena um, and also getting to do it in front of uh, Sir Chris was, was really cool. I find it hard to believe that I'm you know, involved in this kind of thing. What Danny does is, is totally different to what I used to do as a BMX. So it looks good on, on videos but it looks even better when you see it in the flesh. Hopefully we're trying to get him on the track and uh, see how he gets on in there. Week by week something else comes along and you think, that can't be topped. But then, you know, I end up in situations like I am today. It was just, you know, obviously a good teacher. I was pretty experienced on the track. I don't know, I mean, some, you could say that. Looks like a set of nostrils on your forehead. <laughs> he just kind of showed me through, you know, uh, showed me through the ropes, kind of, we did a few laps and then next thing we were suddenly at the top of the bankings at either end and all the time when I was following along, I'm just like, how am I, what, how have I ended up here, you know? Getting shown the ropes, I'd never ridden a velodrome before, so it's, it was really incredible. We went in for a sprint lap and you need to have, uh, so Chris I come flying past you at full sprint. Well, probably not even. He's probably putting about 50% effort in, and I'm given full beans. But it was, uh, yeah, just amazing. I think these Commonwealth Games are going to be some of the best there has been. The Olympics has just really hyped up the whole country, you know, to get involved in, in all these different sports. It's really nice that, you know, the velodrome here, you know, this, that was the first time Sir Chris had ridden it as well. So to have it named after him, to be riding with him. You know, I'm going to be driving past here in, in years and thinking about that day. So I think it's going to be, be brilliant.